it's actually it's actually seeing what your eyes are seeing. Um, what I've been told a few times, I've done this in the past, and people, you don't like this glow around objects. You see, but we can try and sort that afterwards. Uh, let's try the high contrast. So that's not actually that bad as well. When you've picked a preset, you can obviously uh, you can edit the the sliders to make it your own. What's this monochromatic? That's just on its own. This is usually my favourite one I usually go for. Ooh, I don't know if I like that or do I? That's more saturated. Uh, photorealistic high contrast. No, it's a bit bland. For, uh, photorealistic low. Nope, photorealistic. Now, saturated. Nope, high contrast, saturated. Oh, no, I do like that. Let's go on to so realistic. You know. And no, I oh, don't know. No, it's too, too high light. I think I might go for this one. I actually quite like that. That's the so uh, surrealistic high contrast. Uh, Mode, you can either have 16 bit, 32 bit, 8 bit. I don't think any of these are going to make a difference. Or maybe they do. Let's go back to 16. Is that 8? No. Let's go to 16. Stays the same. And then you can change these, but I never change them. A local adaption. Obviously, I like the way that looks, so I keep it as that. But we will just change it for this purpose and see what they come up with. Nope. Exposure and gamma. Nope. Highlight compression. Nope. So let's go to a local adaption again. And let's change these things. We've got radiation. What was it on? 116 takes oxide. But I, uh, this is giving out that glow effect. But it's not going to happen. I reckon this video is going to be a two part video as well. So this, this might be even be the second part. But I know I've been babbling along. Let's go really low, see what that does. No. 68. You need to play around with all these, but this is simply, this is it really. This is all you need to do. See, now that strength is actually making the glow effect disappear. Which I do like. So if I pull the strength down, but put the radius back up a bit. It's not letting me drag it. See, oh, there we go. It's just the strength that's giving the giving the uh, the glow effect, which is totally gone now. I hope, anyway. Let's put the radius back up again for the. Egg. Oh, he even says the eggs glow. Duh. Right. But the picture's coming out superb now. Still got a little bit of glow, but I reckon that'll be okay. Right, let's go to tone and detail. You get the gamma. Let's try and turn them up, see what that does. No. Probably right down a bit. That'll be okay. What's point? What's actually distracting me on this photo is that st stupid ornament in the middle of the window. Just doesn't look real. It looks like it's been just splattered there, but. You know, you, you, you'll find these things out. Let's put exposure up a bit. We need a bit of brightness. Just don't like that brightness in the window. That's very good. Uh, detail. Let's put detail all the way down and see what that does. No. In the middle, no. We need quite a bit of detail. Put detail all the way up to so that looks like. Yes. That looks pretty good. Right, and there's your shadows and highlights. Let's bring the highlights up. No, let's put it a bit down a little bit. Let's show you the shadows. Let's bring the highlights up. That's not even doing anything. No, let's put the highlights down. Oh, that gives you more of a thing around the window frame. Put it down, which looks better. That TV is disgusting. I remember next time when the kids come to not touch the TV. You can see all the little fingerprints. It's just not good. And that's obviously where we tried to clean it with some not TV stuff. Crap, yeah. Right, 
Now at the bottom you've got your vibrance and your saturation and you can just you know you can use the curves that you usually get anyway. I don't really like playing with them. But let's let's try the vibrance which is on hundred already. Ooh, I quite like that. It's kinda of like a black and white, but you just got the the tones just coming through. Let's actually see what the black and white looks like. Bloody hell, that's on minus one under vibrance and it's still got a bit of colour. I really like that. I might have it like that. Saturation, let's have a look at saturation. So it just brings it more. There you go, that's pure black and white. But I like having that little bit of colour through. I reckon that'll be done. Hi guys, this is just to apologise about me finishing off my tutorial. That was basically it. Um, what happened was my memory card got full and it totally just shut off. Uh, so I've deleted all that now on my camera and that's why I'm doing this. Uh, what I was going to say after my picture is if you're shooting, say like you're trying to do the same but you're doing landscaping, you've got clouds in, then if you've not got, um, even if you do the two second timer, or if you, if you do it yourself by taking three shots, it's better if you obviously have a remote so you don't have your, your camera shaking. But if you do do that, then it's like after you've taken the three shots, the clouds might have moved. Um, so obviously each shot is going to be different. Uh, it's called ghosting. Uh, you will get ghosting on the picture, but there is a button on the tutorial. Uh, sorry, on the... Photoshop on that where the sliders was there's a little button at the top that says press ghost uh, ghosting if you click that um, it will what it'll do it'll pick from one of your photos and then your clouds will be perfect you won't see like a jutter of clouds moving across um, I, hopefully you understand what I mean um, but I just thought I'd slap this at the end of the video because I didn't mean for my camera to just totally go off um, but that's basically it uh, the photo that I've taken and I've edited, I've not done any more to it. What you've just seen is exactly what how I left it. Sorry, tell a lie. I did put a border on it. That was it. So what I'll do, um, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you all guys like it. I will post, uh, show the picture at the end of this to show you what I've done. It's not perfect, but it's just to show you guys what HDR is and how you can do it. Um, if any of this helps you, then please comment below. If you do decide to do these shots, um, even doing even if you do a tutorial on the, what I've just shown you, put a video response to this video, or even if you do a slideshow of HDR photography, please put a video response to this. And if you've not subscribed already, please subscribe. Check out my videos and check out my upcoming videos coming soon. So that is basically it, you know, anything you need to know, please message me. So I will catch you again on my next video and check out my photo. Catch you again, guys.